And so, yeah, I mean, there's all of these newfangled approaches in neuroscience that are based on uh, what are called predictive processing approaches. And mm -hmm. it's, it's all still in that paradigm that's imagining consciousness and human cognition as a, you know, some kind of computation. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's slightly less reductionistic than the earlier forms of computationalism as it's called, but still, you know, the human, the human being and all animals are basically being imagined as sophisticated steam engines, mm -hmm. um, with this sort of patina of, you know, thinking about emergence and, um, isn't it amazing what the brain does? And, you know, and, and there's even a kind of, I could call like a mystical materialism. A lot of these scientists who think of the brain as a kind of statistical, it's like a divination engine. And we, we perceive a, what they call a controlled hallucination. That is our reality. We don't actually mm -hmm. know what the world is out there. A lot of these scientists give a very spiritual mm -hmm. spin to that. And so it's not disenchanting and doesn't lead to a kind of, dreary nihilism for them it leads to this embrace of a kind of mystery but at the same time i wonder if that's translatable into the popular culture um when people hear that you and your reality your world is just a hallucination i don't know that most people would be led to a kind of mystical embrace of uh, right. the, the groundless uh you know mystery of, of it all.